What's up everybody, it's Jeff Joe with Chef Gone Carnivore, uh, bringing you another video here. I had been thinking a lot about uh, how grapefly I was the way Joy and I decided to start this diet. I feel like it, um, the way we approached it really helped me stick with it. Um, I've had varying degrees of success with diets in the past. I feel like this one we've been doing for uh, a while, six months is how long we've been doing it. And uh, I just thought I'd share for any of you who start thinking about getting started on the diet, some things that I feel like um, uh, enabled Joy and I to stick with it as long as we have and to have had some success. If you're new to this channel, uh, my name is Joe, I'm a professional chef, and I started the carnivore diet six months ago uh, to try to lose about 200 pounds um, on this diet. So far I've lost 65 and uh, Joy, my wife, has lost 35, so together we've lost about 100 pounds. Actually, that's exactly 100 pounds. We're proud of that. And um, I'm actually more proud of the six months than I am the 65 pounds. I've lost 65 pounds before. And I may have dieted before for six months, but um, I actually don't think I, I have. I think six months might be my record for sticking with a diet. Um, but yeah, we started this diet six months ago because we had a, a uh, baby boy and uh, we felt like it, we needed to um, get healthier so we can live longer and also just be better parents for him. And so when we first started the diet, we committed to each other. We're like, okay, no matter what, we're going to do this diet for three months. Um, if we lose zero pounds, we're doing it for three months. If we gain 10 pounds, we're doing it for three months. If we lose 50 pounds, we're doing it for three months. But no matter what, we're committing to three months. And I think that was huge for me um, because when I'm feeling weak or when there's adversity, my my brain is, is very talented at coming up with reasons why I should no longer um, be disciplined with my diet. So when we had tough weeks, which we did, if you go back and 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 watch our um, documenting of our of our experience on this diet, you'll see that we had great weight loss um, weeks and months, and we had tough ones. And uh, the tough ones normally would be hard for me to work through, but because this one, I knew that the tough one doesn't matter because the decision was already made ahead of time that I was going to keep going, so I couldn't talk myself out of it. Um, that was huge. So I highly recommend if you're thinking about starting the carnivore diet that you commit to a certain length of time, whether it's 60 days or 90 days or six months or, or some amount of time, just commit to it whether or not you see results on the scale that you like. Um, <clears throat> so that's one thing. Uh, another piece of advice if you're starting the carnivore diet, we would have multiple ways of tracking success. So. Um, I think it was like month four. Joy had a really interesting month. It actually may have been month five. Um, I, I don't remember at all. It was all kind of like a blur at this point. But she had a month where she had her lowest weight loss month, but her highest um, measurement month. So we not only track our weight, we also track um, our measurements. So we measure like our waist, our legs, our chest, our arms, our stomach, you know, several different body parts. And then we can see if we're getting smaller or not. And she had one month where her weight was the lowest she had had, but her, her measurements were the highest. And it was the same month. So if she hadn't been tracking measurements as well, it would have seemed like a really bad month or like one that seemed kind of like a failure, but it was actually her biggest success. And then also um, tracking non-weight related things is, is great as well. To be able to see that there are ways that the diet is helping, even if it's not necessarily showing up on the weight on the scale every time. <clears throat> so that's really nice. Um, like for me, after 65 pounds, there are a lot of things that are better about my life. Uh, sleep, energy, things like that. So have several ways of tracking success, not just the scale, because sometimes the scale doesn't paint the whole picture. And sometimes we can kind of get obsessed about one aspect of health. And a third piece of advice I would give is to um, plan ahead and be prepared. So just have an idea of what you'll be eating on what day. Make sure you've purchased the items or thought them out if they're in your freezer and that you've put away or put aside time to actually cook the meat. So if I know that on uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday we'll be eating ribeyes, <clears throat> then on Monday afternoon, I know at 3 p.m. from 3 to 4, I'm going to be cooking three days worth of ribeyes. Um, they'll be in the fridge the next three days we'll be able to eat it again and then on wednesday i know i'll be cooking uh the next 
half of the week's food. And that's already planned in. I already know I'm going to be doing it. I don't have to wonder what I'm going to be eating because it's planned. And that helps a lot. You don't ever want to be stuck making decisions while you're hungry or when you just don't have the right type of food to eat because you'll be much more likely to make poor decisions. As you're starting the diet, if you reach a point where you have a plateau in your weight, if that's what you are most concerned with, or if you're just not seeing the um, improvements in health as quickly as you'd like, um, you can start tinkering with, with what you're including in your diet. So things that have helped myself and that have helped Joy that you may want to start with first if you're going to make some adjustments to the diet. Um, just based on what's worked for us um, would be first um, dairy is a big one. That's been a big one for me. It has not been nearly as impactful for Joy. She can eat quite a bit more dairy than I can without having it uh, affect her too drastically. But for me, dairy is is uh, something that I've had to um, limit or um, ideally to eliminate. And that's helped me with my weight loss. Um, and then the other thing that's helped me a ton is going down to one meal a day. And that, again, that has been a bigger difference on my weight loss than it has on Joy. She tends to be able to be a little more flexible with how often she eats. Um, my weight loss slows a ton if I'm eating multiple times during a day. We've had comments from subscribers who have noted that they have never done OMAD, which is one meal a day, and have reached their goals and have lost weight, fine. So you may not need to do that, hopefully you don't. Um, if you're doing the carnivore diet the way you initially start and you have great success and you feel good, then just keep doing it. You don't need to adjust anything. Um, however, if you do run into some plateaus or, or um, need to make some adjustments, you may want to consider starting with um, with those items, with uh, lowering the amount of dairy you're eating, or lowering the number of times you eat during a day. Might help you might help you break through uh, that plateau and and reach your goals a little bit quicker. So start there. Um, the next, uh, what are we on five? Whatever tips next. Um, another tip that I would say. Um, one of the mistakes I found myself making is not eating enough. Um, I would eat, especially when I get, went down to eating one meal a day. Um, it was a game changer for me once I made sure I was eating until I was full. Even if you're not doing OMAD, I think a big mistake people make when they're doing carnivore is not eating enough. Um, so eat until you're full, eat when you're hungry. Um, and then the other thing is not eating enough fat. So especially for Joy, this has made a huge difference for her. Um, when she's eating steak or eating some type of meat, especially if it's a bit, little bit leaner of a meat, it has made a huge difference for her to incorporate more fat with each meal. She's lost weight quicker. She's been more satisfied with her hunger. Um, her health uh, issues have improved quicker when she's eating more fat. So keep that in mind. Um, make sure you're having plenty of fat in your meals and that you're eating enough and those will help you. Those are just a few of the tips that might help you as you are starting the carnivore diet. Hopefully they will help you. If you're starting, best of luck. Stick with it. You can do it. Um, I know it's made a big difference in my life and in Joy's life. Um, we've enjoyed the diet a lot. Um, we found it quite easy to stick with, um, pretty satisfying. And as a chef, that's one thing I worried about. I was worried about um, not having a diverse enough selection of food and that I'd get bored with it too quickly. And I actually haven't gotten bored with it yet. Um, I find it uh, easy to stick to and that has helped me stick with it as long as I have. If you are interested in, in following along with, with our journey, then uh, subscribe and turn on notifications and then you'll know when we post new videos, uh, whether they're um, videos charting our results for that month or whether they're cooking videos that I put up sometimes or whatever it is, um, you know, subscribe and you'll get those videos when we put them up. And then if you have any suggestions of tips for people starting the carnivore diet that I didn't list here, um, feel free to include them in the comments. Um, I try to read and respond to each comment and uh, we're grateful for those who participate that way. But anyways, um, if you are starting the carnivore diet, best of luck, um, keep at it. And uh, till next time. Yeah.